Hello guys, what's going on? I'm Aldens and I'm finally back with another video. Today I decided to show you guys something a bit out of my comfort zone because you know I'm into that logic stuff, you know, producing music, doing all that great shit. But um, for this week's episode I decided, you know what? Let's do something completely, completely different. So here we're in my editing software and I'm gonna show you guys something really cool. And um, you know in movies, right? They have a sort of different type of aspect ratio. And if you don't know what an aspect ratio is, it's basically um, what they use to kind of me measure length of the movie against the width, you know, or height, you could call it. And uh, in this case, in this little black window right here, we have a normal 16 by 9 uh, aspect ratio image, which is normal widescreen, which is what they basically use in every movie, uh, every TV series today. However, in movies, they use something completely different call, called ultra wide or cinemascope or yeah, whatever. It's a lot of different stuff, but uh, we could call it for what the aspect ratio that the ultra wide monitors is using, and it's called it's the twenty one by nine ratio. So it has the same height, but it has uh, more length. And that means it gets wider, of course. And when you're, you know, making a uh, movie in Final Cut Pro, and to make it more professional, it looks cool when you put black bars on top and the bottom. What people usually do is they add an effect called letterboxing. And it is, it's an effect you can find. Let's see if I can find it real, real quick. It's this one right here. Okay, I don't have any anything to add it into but what basically happens is you can change the offset and you can change uh, the amount and you can get it to uh, sort of look like a movie however it when you export a file it will still be a 16 by 9 file so normal widescreen but not ultra widescreen file so people on their widescreen monitors won't be able to uh, watch the content in like with their full screen they will just get like a box, which is, it looks really dumb and bad. And however, today, guys, I'm going to show you how we can do this cool uh, cinema black bars effect and still get the people with the ultra wide, ultra wide monitors to watch it how it's supposed to be watched. Uh, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open a project right here. And uh, when now we come to the important part of the uh, of the video which is to make this uh, custom so we're just gonna make it custom right now and you can put a couple of different resolutions today we're gonna go with uh, 34 uh, by 1440 and you can use basically um, whichever res resolution they use on uh, uh, the ultra wide monitors because that's basically movie aspect ratio and uh, nothing of the else stuff, uh, nothing of the other stuff you really need to, uh, uh, you know, uh, fix with. This is like the most important. If you're good in this software, obviously do whatever you want to, but then you probably won't be watching this video anyway. Uh, so when you've done that, you just want to click OK, yeah. And then boom, we got ourselves another project like that. And you can see that the whole like, uh, viewer window here is really wide and that means we have done that part of the video so all we need to do now is to find a little sample video which I can show um, everything with you guys so I'll be back in a second with the video alright so now I got the video here and uh, what's kinda of bad about this video actually is that I've already done like black bars on it I think because if you look around here this is a little bad Call of Duty edit, by the way. Looks pretty. Looks like it, it looks pretty bad, but you know it kind of worked. But Harry can actually already see these kind of bars. Guess got the audio. That's very nice. Uh, but anyways, uh, I'm not recording with the audio today because uh, I was kind of lazy and just wanted to record this video fast and easy. And um, now. What we want to do to stretch this video out is pretty simple. You just want to press this transform 
and you will get the video up and you can see there are some black bars in this video and what we're going to do is we're just going to drag it until it matches so let's put that view up to 25 percent and let's see if it fits exactly how it's supposed to fit and now if we go into video i think i should be on no sound right now oh yeah that, that's pretty bad but you kind of get the gist i'm just gonna try to put it's not already on better performance so running these softwares at the same time is not really an ideal thing is it but you kind of get the gist right if we go into just to the clip right now and we can just pause the clip that's not important but you can see the black bars <coughs> and um you know that's basically uh what you have to do uh and if you would know to kind of Kind of change your offset a bit like if you can see the sniper here what we can do is we can move it like up and down like in boundaries of course because now there is already black bars on it so we can do it like that and then it gets a tiny bit better and uh yeah but yeah guys that's pretty much how we do it um if you have some questions leave them down below uh, if you want to see some more videos in Final Cut, I would love to share some more with you guys. I love Final Cut, it's awesome. Learn something new every day. I can show you how to make like a, a, transpar a transparent picture and move around and around in circles. That's pretty cool. I can show you guys that in another video if you want to. But yeah, that's been Aldens, or I have been Aldens, and I'm out.